everyone, it's Coach Hayo, and um, I'm here with Marian. And she showed me a YouTuber who is uh, showing his viewers the most interesting parts of this country and some very beautiful parts because many people have uh, the wrong idea about East Africa. They only think about poverty and war, but there are places that look just like Dubai. Um, and this guy, what's his name? Qais uh, Qaisar. And he's, he has an interesting video. He goes to a place called um, El... Al Gerdi. Al Gerdi. Yes. So Al Gerdi, Mr. Al Gerdi. I don't know. So actually, um, yes, uh, this guy is from the city that we are living right now. Yeah. So we're in Hargeisa. That's, that's what is even more excited. I'm I'm more excited about that. So Hayro uh, Qais Qaisar, of course, you should know. We're going to Qof Kastu Garnea, which is uh, very exciting actually. So I'm also very excited right now to talk about uh, this video. So, uh, yeah, so Wuhan with Dinia Coach Hayo. Wuhan Gayer Penna, the action of Penna video or Kosso Dube, Al Gerdi, and Al Gerdi Hagutala Omalins. So, yeah, who could do ya or Wahiku Dota Hai Berbera Omalina? Berbera, Berbera, and yeah, and Wa, yeah, Sega who a case case or who Kaba Hai Berbera. Don't would I? Mm -hmm. I'm a donio. So, inta 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 then iman kahar dalka. Mhat mhat ka 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 am sinit. Well, wa wahan again inu ganasiga wu fiani hai. Like in um wa lahera dalhis yo fasa si fian magaran. Ha, tu farabadan har kabar kima do hiran. Uh, well, I just, the country is very boring. Uh, there's yeah. no fun, beautiful places in the country, so there's nothing to do in the country. Yeah, many foreigners have that impression, um, even when they get here. So it's really good that uh, Kais Kaiser is showing these places, showing some interesting things to do. Um, and it's the, vi the video, we have a link below. It's very, and we'll be adding clips. Um, you see the clips we've, we've had already. Um, it's very visually appealing. Like, yeah. I didn't know, I was asking people, are there sand dunes in the country? <laughs> so, dune of Somali Mahala Yurahda wa Burta Id. Id, Ba'ad. Ba'ad, okay. <laughs> and I think those are so beautiful. Yeah, like Dubai. Everybody shows us how Dubai is very beautiful and very attractive, and people go there if they want to see, uh, people go there if they, people go there if they want to see Sahara. Yeah, Ba'ad. Uh, the how do you say it in English? Uh, sand dune. Sand dune. D U N E. Yeah. And and they're right near the ocean. Um, the video is titled Mesha Sahara Ha Iyo Badu Kukuman. Wow. So very interesting. where the desert meets the ocean. So mm. it's very beautiful because you have yeah a lot of water and then no water. Yeah. And wow. And it's probably very hot. Yeah. Like, yes. So, so it's good you're close to the yeah, beach. Yeah, let's get for started. <laughs> yeah, so. let's get let's give it a lot of reaction of uh, about yeah. the video. Sounds good. <laughs> مقال كنا نخدمه مقال اللي هو وحويا ما أنت مل آد يا آد يا آد وعجيبة أي نتيجة نواهل كايس كجلام بضة يصحرو ما أنت مش نتيجة دنوح دوجاني سن إني نندت كنا نواني دبي وبحنين هذي مش أنا أقول هاي إني نودم كودا كتالو. I like how they're I like how they're so excited. Yeah, these guys are. Yeah, very positive. In Africa, like I'm sure a lot of people do not talk about how people are very positive. They only talk about poverty and drought. There's no water, there's no food. Africa. Yeah. And these guys are, they're really excited for their trip. You can tell they're, they're dressed for a day at the beach. Um, and it looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yeah, they're having a lot of fun. Wow. Mood by Allah, Safar Kegel High School Sergey, Mansour Hotel. Okay, so it looks like he's leaving from Mansour Hotel, which is a, a big hotel in Berbera. Um, yeah, uh, also in Hargeisa. And Hargeisa, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's a, and he's going in a few boats. Uh, he said, so he can go directly there. Yes. So yeah, and the boats are owned by Mansour Hotel. Interesting. That will be a fun trip. 
Yeah. And they sponsor the video, which is a good thing. Oh, yeah. Do you know in Africa, we sponsor also videos. <laughs> yeah, sponsored, and I love to see that. Um, there are plenty of companies here, um, especially in East Africa, with enough money to sponsor and do everything that, you know, I'm used to seeing in the U.S. Yeah. Sponsoring trips, sponsoring videos, supporting YouTubers. Yes. Wow, I like the editing and also the music. Very interesting music. Yeah, the music really makes it like come alive and it sets the mood. Yeah. Um, he said, yeah, Toswatigana. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe traveling overland might be difficult, but part of the experience is to go on a boat. Um, these boats, Donyadan, Wehe i Hasusinean. Ilmusha. Ilmusha. Yeah, Wahantege Ilmusha Markianjoge Djibouti. Ilmusha is a popular tu tourist place in Djibouti where you have to take a boat from the port, <clears throat> from Djibouti port. Like this guy is uh, taking a boat from Berbera from port. From Berbera to, to, that, to that place, El Gerdi. And it's really easy once you're on the water to go straight to your destination. Yeah, wow, it's cool. It's very cool. I have never, I have never uh, tried to take a boat and to, to take a boat from one place to another place. That's something very new to me, and I, I never thought that I, I could do that in the country. Yeah, and it's good. I like that they're wearing life vests because I don't know. I can swim, but not very well. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> I have no idea. And let's see. Yeah, it's a male cat. It's a That's very exciting, amazing. Oh my god. Don't we hit Kalab no Sarna? You hear in total Wooker City, Girgiri, the Hushi, Alab Tasso, and Balagas of Saria. They have everything in their in the boat. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, they said they had that bus bring it. Ah, the um, food and the uh, and the stuff that they need. And they have like so a table and chairs. Because they they're going to the to a place where no one is, is it lives in that place. Yeah, there are no shops, yeah. no restaurants, <laughs> no shops. <laughs> at least yeah. right near the beach. Um, yeah. I'm gonna check. Let's check on Google Maps to see if there's a village. But yeah, definitely not. Um, he said, I think earlier in the video, he said no one has ever gone and done a video like this. Yes. So yeah. it's, it's very fresh, very new, but that's the best thing about East Africa. Yeah. Um, and this yeah. country is, it's yeah. like Dubai in the sense that there are nice things to do, mm -hmm. but there's so, there are so many undiscovered places or yeah. low traffic places. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so let's go, let's, let's skip some parts. Yeah. <clears throat> let's go to the parts that are very exciting. Make sure to watch the whole video. Yeah, so we're, we have the link below. Um, we're explaining the video for the English viewers. Um, so I can show my American friends and international English speaking friends that uh, this is a great country to come visit. Um, yeah, check, come and check out. <clears throat> And very and beautiful country. Oh, here he's passing a huge ship. Um, it's yeah, I remember, we have ships in Africa as well, so you know <laughs> something about Africa. Yeah, huge and like huge boats like that. I've seen container ships, a lot of containers. Yeah. Um, I love containers. I feel I feel like having a house, a container house. Yeah, those look fun. <laughs> yeah. They're really efficient. Yes. Um, I remember when I went to Ilmusha, going by, like you're in a small boat and going by these huge boats. Yeah. Feels really cool. Um, <clears throat> it feels, I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe because like you don't see anything that big, like these big ships moving on land. Yeah. So they're oh huge <laughs> and they move. It's really cool. Yeah, so he's... Uh... 
Oh, and you can see the crayons. It says it brings products from somewhere. It's, it's a business ship. I don't know who's owned by that ship. It brings uh, some products from Dubai or somewhere, and then all the way to, to the country. And then, they, oh, we got this shot looking back um, where you can see the cranes. I love that view of like, <clears throat> it's like a really industrial but natural look too, because you have the ocean yeah. and the cranes, and it looks really great at night. Even though this one's in the day, it looks really fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think I saw, I saw those things in Berbera once, once yeah. we went there. It was, it was at night. And there, at night in Barbara, there is not any light pollution. Yeah. You can see um, that's a big problem in America, and I'm assuming Dubai, um, is that there are so many lights from cities. Mm. But you feel closer to nature um, in a city like Barbara. Yeah, let's go to the fun park. Bahawiyan. Kedibna, 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 Looks like they're swimming a little bit. Yeah. As soon as they got off the boat, they're swimming. MashaAllah, as soon as they got off the boat, they're swimming. Hell, they're going to be swimming. We're 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 going to be swimming. So it looks like they got there around 1 o'clock? Yeah. So. Yeah. They're breaking down to eat lunch or setting up? Yeah, and that's one of that's the that's the hottest time yeah. of the day 1 p.m 2 p.m there's plenty of sun the sun is so intense yes but it's that's nice for vacation and when you got the beach <laughs> you can just get in the water i just want to get to know you i want to go far to the coast i want to drive fast to the ocean i want to know all of you Looks like they have a drone oh. um, taking some amazing, it's great, like 20 years ago you'd need a helicopter for these scenes. But these are the dunes, and I love dunes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, one of the most beautiful places, and not, not in Dubai this time. Yeah, and it looks like it, because all you see, anything from Saudi or the UAE, Dubai, yeah, you see the dunes. Gulf countries, yeah. 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 yeah, I didn't know there were dunes here. I've asked some of my students, are there dunes? And even some people said no, huh. but um, yeah, this is definitely under, undiscovered territory, yeah, there's, unexplored. Yeah, there's also so many places that are undiscovered. Nobody have, nobody have no idea about the places. And setting up this trip, it would be really interesting to see um, how it is or what the what the steps are to take a trip like this. Are the one thing I'd like to do, um, in, and the reason I'm speaking English more in these videos, is to show people, okay. I want a vacation, what steps do I take? One, two, three. Yeah. Where do I go? How exactly do I do it? Yeah. So we'll do some more research. Yeah. Of course you need a guide a guide yeah. tour. Yeah. Definitely tour someone guide. who knows. Yeah. Tour guide. Tour guide. <laughs> someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, and the music fits really well. It feels like we're in the Middle East, but this is Africa. Yeah, and even the way they're dressed, yeah. um, cool. they've got the khmis, and then, yeah. um, I don't know, is that, what's, what do you call the... Imamat. Imamat, yeah. yeah. That's the scarf. <laughs> and it's, it's nice, it's got that bright white, um, mm -hmm. You see uh, people wearing bright white camisas here in the city too, but when you see it out in nature, that's like a lot of the videos from the Gulf. Yeah, yeah. It feels like we're in the Middle East right now, and a lot of people think that we are behind. We don't know what's what's happening in the world. <laughs> so I feel like they're, um, I feel like they know they know what's up in the Middle East and how people dress. Yeah, and it's like it's like getting they have the right combination of imagery and then. They got the nice sunset here. Yeah. What's that? Wow. I forget. I know Waberi is sunrise. Hi. Dawn. What's the word for dusk? Uh, 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 sunset, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's the other word for sun. That's one yeah. thing I learned this week. 
And the word I know for sun is Qura. Qura. But ah. Ad'ada Ad is, Ad -ada is, Ad -ada is in, the, in the north. Interesting. Yes. So Ad -ada. But there's a good word like Wabiriga, and there's also a good word for that, but I don't know. Yeah, and then in, in English we say dawn and dusk, sunrise, oh. sunset. Okay, cool. But very few people use dawn and dusk, but it's it's more, it's a better word. Like yeah. Said. Like Wabiri is a very nice word. Yes. Let's see. هذا بربرت ما طوا دون تكسر رعده وقت يرقوم بعد ميرشن كوي من كريسة. That's very beautiful. Oh my god, that sand is very clean and very beautiful. And I'm sure it's getting cooler as as things are as the sun is setting. Yeah. And yeah, I wonder. Um, I don't fish very much. Many people from Minnesota fish, mm -hmm. but um, I've fished before. I wonder if there are lobsters in the ocean here. <laughs> I think, um, what's, what are those called? Argosato. Argosato in, <laughs> in Somali. And that was funny, right? That, <laughs> what, what else does that mean? Uh, uh, another word for that? Or like, uh, what's it come from? Like you said, like revenge or something? Argosato, they were quick Argosato, revenge. It means that it takes revenge from people. <laughs> you know, it's like, it does not like people. And definitely with those, yeah, it's. With the pincers, it can, they definitely do pinch you if you're, if you're not careful. Yeah, and, I, and are they, are they halal? They're halal. Okay. Seafood is halal. Interesting. Yes. And that's such a good, like, it's very expensive in the U.S., but I'm assuming there are, there are a lot of lobsters and a lot of fish, too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All yeah, there's a, a lot of fish that's free, and uh, you don't have to. Um, there's uh, there's also another video that we're gonna be we're gonna be making reaction as well a reaction on that video. So uh, yeah, so there's fish in the in the ocean and the sea everywhere. Nobody is using that that fish. The main thing, inshallah, being the Lakeri Muharrechine, in the Lahidin for the Diana Halkan Timatan, what Chaland on Tan, inshallah, Mukal can do so so good. Like, subscribe, share, Karam in the Hulas Hat to Kuran. Case Case. That's Case Caser's video. Um, like, I'm really glad that Maybe you make sure to follow Case Caser and also our YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. And so we have the link to the video, like the images. We're trying not to use too many of them so you can watch it yeah. yourself on his channel. And, um, yeah, I'm really glad you introduced him to me because or introduced his videos. I've never met Case Caser, but yeah, it feels it feels like we've been to the place. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, we had a movie and I've never met her. But Case Caser follow go see Sarah and I can know follow Garea. So I can watch her We should meet Case Caser. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yes. So that Case Caser, that Case Caser is getting us to share Garea video one. Good job. You're doing a great job for the country and for the foreigners as well. Yeah. And um, yes, we're so proud of you. These are the images they need to see overseas. Yes. Yeah. We're so proud of you. Thank you for showing us these beautiful places in Africa. No poverty and no, no droughts in Africa. Mm -hmm.